Good to see you. All right. Hello there again, everyone. Welcome back to the Road to 100 Stars, uh, where this is um, uh, episode 30 of Quarantine Day 5,950 million. And uh, so we don't know what day it is, and we don't care because we're here in vain, uh, ready to break the game wide open here uh, with a uh, venomous build. So we're going to be running with EO, I think, in this uh, run through. Uh, she's looking good in white. She's always looking good in white. We have Conviction Spike. Uh, that's her communal. Oops, wrong, <laughs> wrong key. And uh, we're going to be talking uh, Venom. Oh, thanks. Thanks, EO. Uh, we're going to be talking... This is her communal. And they always have some either a, a shriek like that, uh, or they... Thanks, EO. Or they either have a, have a shriek like that, or they have a, a line that they say in Japanese. I don't speak Japanese, and probably never will, unfortunately. Uh, I do love language, but uh, it's not something I know. Uh, if somebody did know those translations, that would be cool to know. Uh, so first off tonight, we're going to be talking about uh, uh, regenerations. Uh, so you'll notice here that we have eight regens uh, in our bank, because uh, we're going to be running regeneration shift. So let me flip in my notes here. Uh, we have uh, some different buffs in the game that allow you some regenerative abilities. That's why we're going to be running EO for this playthrough. We ran uh, EVA last playthrough. Um, and so now we're going to be talking about uh, uh, regeneration here. So we, you notice we have this gift called Regenerator. Uh, we have Regeneration Shift. And we have Improved Regeneration. And we have Augmented Regeneration. These are all the uh, abilities in the game that can improve how much health you get back on a regen. Uh, so we'll get Blood Sacrifice here to get some health down. Let's see if EO will not give us Regenerator. So currently, we uh, when we, we are at maximum regens throughout the game, so each uh, Blood Sacrifice is 620 uh, minus health, and so if we use a regen, uh, that was uh, 1240, and if we re use a regen, we'll notice that we... Whoops. We oh, we have improved regeneration. You'll notice that we uh, get uh, 1050 back, 1050 um, health back from a regen, just a regular regen. Now, it, if you use um, regenerator, uh, we go. We have to go a little bit more here, and if we use one regenerator, it does a 15% uh, improvement to our health. And so there you go. Uh, so that was 15% up. And that is, uh, I don't have that value, so 1050 times 1.15 is 1207, or, and it'll round up to 1208. And it is also multiplicative with all of the other uh, regenerator abilities. So regenerator, and then um, we, note it, we go back to uh, re improve regeneration. This is a 40% multiplicative bonus. So 1050 times 1.4, and regeneration shift is a one as an 80 percent multiplier. So it's a 1.8 times 1050. Uh, so we're going to be going with regeneration shift because uh, definitively, if you pick out all your multipliers and take uh, that 80 percent times your 15 percent times eight regens, the total amount of health that you get back uh, from these eight regenerations is more than if you would use um, uh, improved regeneration with 10 health regens. Uh, so if you're looking for maximum regen ability, uh, you definitely want to go with uh, imp regeneration shift uh, as it will um, definitely improve your ability. Now this is exactly opposite if you uh, go into someone else's game and you are going to help them. You definitely want to go with uh, uh, augmented regeneration. This adds two to your total amount, uh, and it doesn't matter. Um, it's not a percentage based. It's a plus two. So in a, when you're a guest in someone else's game, you typically spawn in with five regens. Uh, if you have uh, augmented regeneration, you'll spawn in with seven. Uh, and if you have regeneration shift af active, it, this is a minus two. It's not a multiplicative. So it will subtract two from your five when you spawn in, so you'll have three, but you'll have improved 
you know, regeneration amount, but you'll only have three regens. So it's smarter in that case, uh, b even with the uh, improved or with regeneration shift with that 80% multiplier, you're still going to get more health out of the augmented regeneration than out of regeneration shift. Now the best way to do it is if you can add all three of these, as the minus two here will be offset by the plus two here. So you'll start in with 10 uh, regenerations, and then you'll have the 80% times the 40% times the 15% times EO's multiplicative 15% from regenerator. And if you had someone else spawn into your game with a 15% uh, regenerator, that would be 1.8 times 1.4 times 1.15 cubed. So that's 3.83 times uh, multiplier, so a 383% multiplier for your 1,050 or whatever uh, scaling you, you've uh, gotten up to in the game. So you can get up to a maximum when all multipliers are active. You can get up to a maximum of times 1050, so 4,024 health on one single regeneration uh, use when all, when all the multiplicative uh, bonuses are active. So that's kind of an interesting uh, way that uh, you'll notice here in all the blood codes um, Berserker is one of the highest with 3,458 um, and uh, Asclepius has a pretty high uh, health bonus here at 4,061 and I just told you we can regenerate 4,024 um, and so that's with these actives down here to increase your health uh, so you would if you had uh, the two actives down here, improved regeneration and regeneration shift, you would be able to restore your entire health bar in one regen. Uh, so that's significant. Uh, so keep that in mind as you go through. So if you're having problems uh, with regeneration, this is a great way to improve how, uh, how much regen uh, life you have. This, these multipliers are the same in new, new game, or in regular game and enhanced game, so you can uh, get the same multiplicative bonuses. However, the amount that the regenerators that the regeneration does is not the same. So, okay, that was regeneration. Now, if we move on to venom, uh, for this is a, a fairly um, basic thing, but it's uh, hard to implement. So, uh, for venom uh, in new game enhanced, it does a five percent damage of the total health pool of the enemy. So you'll notice here that his health will tick about 125, 150 um, every, every second. So this is all, the, the damage over time, the dot on this guy, is about, is about 150, or 110, yeah, it's about 110. So if you take 110 and divide it by 0 0.05, let's do that, 110 divided by 0 0.05, this guy has about 2,200 health uh, total. Now, in uh, regular game, I noticed I was uh, doing some research there on some people's videos, and uh, that damage over time is reduced to a uh, five, a half a percent. So it's 10 times multiplier in new game enhanced, which is great. So that you definitely want to be playing enhanced if you're playing a uh, damage b build with uh, Venom. Now you'll notice he's just taking some health there. And Eo's going to go ahead and kill him. So, and you'll notice here we have Blood Draining Venom active. Now, this is only good if you have uh, low I-Core abilities. This is three. Uh, slowing Shot is also three. Venomous Web is four. Uh, Venom Trap is six. Uh, we're definitely not going here. We're going with Usurper's Blade. And uh, Regenerator is five. And Conviction Spike is our big one at 20. So, and Usurper's Blade is 6. So nothing is more than 6 I-Core here, and I have that on purpose. Um, well, let's go ahead and, and do this. Um, because Blood Draining Venom drains about 0.6 to 0.7 I-Core. I think it's around 0.6. Um, and uh, Venom on an enemy lasts 10 seconds. So uh, if you hit an enemy with a Venom shot, uh, you'll notice that all my I-Core is going to re regenerate before he even has a chance uh, to get back over here. So we'll hit him with that, we'll slow him, and see now there, I'm, I used uh, both Slowing Shot and, uh, what, what is this one, Venomous Shot, and so uh, 
it killed him quick, and so I didn't get any Icor regeneration off of Blood Draining Venom. I also have de uh, debuff buildup uh, active as well to uh, ensure that any enemy I hit with Venomous Shot or Slowing Shot, it, uh, it uh, puts them into that status state uh, immediately. So it's kind of a uh, do that and then run away, and you'll notice that our our Icor is healing or uh, recovering here, and we'll go ahead and let Eo finish him off. So that's kind of the problem with this is that um, so we'll hit this guy and then we'll run away, and we're draining Icor, and he's getting damaged over time. So if he takes five percent of his health for ten seconds. So he takes 50% of his health uh, on one one venomous shot. Now, that's a pretty good um, pretty good uh, um, payback for what he offers. So we'll, we'll throw a venomous shot over there, or a venomous web, and so he's he's giving us Icor back as he uh, gets beat down by Eo. Now we're kind of using Eo here, so okay, sue me. <laughs> So we'll do that guy and then make him come forward. Now he's going to take that dot and he's going to give us uh, that that I-Core back. So we're regening here. And because Venomous Shot only costs three I-Core, we, we will always be netting three I-Core uh, per enemy. So here's this guy. We'll hit him. We'll throw a web out there. So... These guys are all taking the the dot here. Okay, let's hit. Let's give Eo some health. Okay, now we have uh, pretty low health, so let's go ahead and regen, and we're right back up to pretty much full. And we have we're pretty low on Icor now, so we're gonna have to because uh, we used Regenerator. So it's kind of a very hands-off, patient, uh, step back kind of a build. Um, this is kind of how you would want to play um, with a Venom build. You don't want to be in the action because you want to be draining that I-Core from your enemies. So this guy is going to walk forward. We're going to hit him with a slow. Okay. And as soon as he's done, we'll hit him with another Venom. And we'll just keep building that I-Core back. And he's just going to continue to take 5% over time here. And that's that. Okay. Now this squid, or thing, will drop down here. Now you'll notice that our weapon does uh, almost zero damage. <laughs> so the uh, this is the uh, Brion Brionac. I think I'm saying that right. The Brionac. And this is a polearm. Uh, if you didn't notice, we're going polearms in this playthrough uh, to kind of discover what these are all about. We have several of them. There's lots to talk about with these. So you'll notice here that the these are pretty terrible stats, uh, pretty awful um, requirement stat here. We need a willpower of A to do something in strength and dex as a stat scaling that has nothing to do with willpower. So very, very bad, pretty bad uh, defenses, pretty bad drain rating. Uh, we put the venom on there, and we get a 20% uh, venom up uh, because of debuff buildup. Uh, fairly okay weight, pretty good weight. Uh, terrible stats here, but we have a, a superior drain rating uh, compared to any other polearm. So 0 0.45, 0 0.45, 0 0 0.45, 0 0.45, 0 0.45, 0 0.45, 0 0.45, everybody's a 0.45 until this one, and you're a 0 0.75. So you're almost a doubling uh, of all the other polearms in the listing here. So that's the benefit of this, uh, oops, of this specific um, weapon. It's, you know, a pretty bad... <laughs> A pretty bad uh, bonus you know I wouldn't buy the DLC just to get a pole arm that has a 0.75 base uh, I core regen multiplier but uh, you know that's what they chose to do with it um, it doesn't have any extra special moves it doesn't have any you know extra special um, you know different kinds of attacks or anything it's just a straight-up Bardiche that uh, does lightning damage occasionally. <laughs> so let's hit this guy with these. Now he's going to take 5%. Now he's slow, so we'll just back up here. And remember, we don't want to be 
um, killing him right away. We want to be draining his uh, life through the uh, poison. So that's kind of a problem when you have multiple enemies, but because every enemy drains six I-Core over the ten seconds, you can hit somebody with a venomous shot, throw a venomous web, put a venomous trap on the ground, and you can get back uh, fairly high amounts of I-Core pretty quickly. Now for this guy, we're just going to get a backstab to get our um, amount of uh, I-Core pool up here. Oops. Okay, EO killed him. Now we have Venom on our, uh, on our, um, what is that, on our weapon as well. So we'll hit him with a slow, and we'll hit him with a Venomous Trap. Okay, we'll put a trap on the ground here, just in case he comes over here. So see, his buildup is a little bit uh, longer. And we'll hit him with a slow. Okay, he's dead. So we were draining some I-Core there, but not a whole lot. So the whole point of this is that you do uh, all the dots <laughs> on these guys, so that way they uh, help you drain, help you get I-Core drains. So let's put a trap there. Hopefully he moves forward into the trap and EO doesn't kill him, because now we're out of I-Core. Okay, EO's just going to beat this guy into the ground. So see, and we're not using our regenerations um, because we have to make sure that we use them at strategic times. Now, even with our, um, even with our blade, oh no, even with our blade, I didn't get the uh, backstab there. Even with our blade having a very high I core recovery, uh, it takes like two or three hits, and an enemy can be poisoned, and uh, then you can continue recovering I-Core that way. And because this has a, a pretty wide sweeping strike uh, in every direction, you can hit multiple enemies multiple times. So we'll let that guy take some uh, I-Core loss there. Now we have um, multiple enemies, so we'll put a uh, trap down and get some I-Core back from all these guys as they continually die. There we go. So this is a little bit about how uh, Venoms work and how Slows work and kind of how you want to go about recovering i -Core. Now uh, Usurper's Blade, I haven't talked about that yet because we haven't really had a, a chance there to talk about it. Um, but uh, it is a health regen uh, skill. So we'll get hit here and we'll use Usurper's Blade. You'll notice there we got some health back from uh, Usurper's Blade. So it's not a uh, significant health uh, regeneration tool, <laughs> but it's definitely something that can help uh, in, a, in a dangerous situation. Okay, now if we hit this guy with poison again, since he's blocking, that's a great way to get rid of his block. Get that guy poisoned, get that guy poisoned. And the uh, regen on i -Core has a pretty long distance uh, to continue uh, recovering that I core. Eo's just gonna go ham on these guys. So you don't have to be right on top of somebody, you don't have to be right next to them. Um, you know. Let's hit this guy with a slow. There we go. He's, now, obviously, we can't poison the squiddies. Hit this guy with a poison. Let's hit this guy with a usurper's blade, or not. So the usurper's blade, um, I believe it uh, recovers 300 health. I didn't get a good look at it there. Um, so it's it's about a 10% uh, health recovery on strike, which isn't too bad. Um, you know, you could do better with uh, uh, with any other kind of health regen ability like a regenerative drain or something like that. So we'll get some I-Core back from this guy. See, and we're pretty far away. He's slowly walking up here. And we're still recovering I-Core. Okay, let's hit him again. So this is the, uh, you have to wait the full 10 seconds to get the full uh, six I-Core out of these guys. 
So it's kind of like a... Do I really want to let, wait that long? So we'll hit him. We'll hit him. <laughs> and we'll get some I-Core back. And maybe get... Oh. Okay. So Eo's pretty aggressive, <laughs> as you can tell. So we gotta hit this guy with all the venom here so we can get I-Core back. Hit him with the slow. Hit him with an, with a venom. All right. And these uh, the slow shot and the venomous shot, they have uh, um, they have uh, piercing damage on strike. See there we got nine. Whoops. Where's our icon, our haze? It was around it was around here somewhere. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Um. Okay. <laughs> Very interesting developments here. Okay. And Eo is just out of control here. Uh, I can breathe easy with you around. It's more like it. So we'll run up here and get a backstab on this guy so we get some i back. Now I had a question uh, a little bit ago about how I uh, know about all these multipliers and where I find them out because this information is pretty uh, limited. Uh, there's, you know, the Fextra Life uh, wiki and things, you can look at those, but it's sometimes inaccurate or it's sometimes just there's nothing there. And it's not because, you know, somebody's trying to be misleading or trying to f make something up or whatever. It's just there isn't a lot of uh, analysis going on for this game. And, uh, you know, it's it's pretty involved. And so, uh, you know, to understand all of this is fairly in-depth and involved. And to sit here and, you know, figure out all the math of this and everything that's going on, um, you know, it's just, it's just really difficult. So that's why I'm trying to do this uh, for the community, because um, I really do love uh, what we have here. Okay, I don't know where that um, shot went. So, okay. Um, so yeah, if you do, if you do enjoy what I'm doing here, um, I'm glad because you know this is uh, something that I'm, I really enjoy is learning, learning the math of all this and how it operates and you know what we can find out al along with the rest of the community. So um, I appreciate it that, you know, people are taking notice. Um, that's really nice. Uh, I think the big guy's coming. Yep, there he is. Okay. Let's see if we can get him poisoned. Nope. Okay, we're going to have to see about getting him poisoned here. Okay. Wow, Eo's just racking up the kills here. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah. But, uh, we're coming up to, um... So, so yeah, uh, how, how do I go about finding all these things out? Well, I get out my calculator, I sit here with my notebook, I try things, and then I try it again, and then I try it again, and then I try it again, and I note the differences, and then I work out the math to figure out, oh, okay, that was, you know, a 10% multiplicative, or that was a 10% additive, or how, how do they go about these buffs, um, and... That's why I enjoy doing this, is because, you know, this needs to be known in the community, and uh, I want people to know this and, and have access to it. So I hope you do enjoy that. I hope you, you like what I do here. Um, and, uh, yeah, thanks for coming along, and thanks for enjoying it along with me. Now, I haven't used Conviction Spike, um, but it, uh, it has one downside that can uh, sh make people shy away from even you ever thinking about using it, and it's the comment here that it says, but reduces drain effectiveness. And I believe it's like a 40% or 30% uh, reduction in how you uh, go about um, get, uh, getting I-Core recovery. Good, he got poisoned. So he'll take 50% of his health bar now. Or Eo will just kill him outright. And uh, we recovered a little bit of I-Core there. 
but um, when you use conviction spike, it it uh, it's um, a reduction for um, it's a reduction for weapon attacks and drain attacks on backstabs. However, it has no effect on blood draining venom, so you still get the six I core back, um, but uh, you. You, you, you get the 6 I-Core back from the full 10 second uh, Venom duration. However, the fact is is that uh, you also uh, get 50% stagger resistance. He was just going to kill this guy before I get my full 6 I-Core back. <laughs> okay, and this guy creeping in the ceiling here. We'll hit him with those. Okay. Whoa. Let's put a trap down. Okay. Is he poisoned? He is poisoned. That's good. Okay. Now we're focused here. It'd be great if we could get a drain. But there's this, and so we'll use the Super Blade and get 350 health back. Now, Usurper's Blade is kind of weird because it has such a long, long, long cooldown. Um... So, you know, it's like, yeah, it's a kind of weak way to get health back because it's a long startup time. It's a uh, long, uh, it's a long startup time and it's also a very, um, a very limited range and all kinds of problems with it. So, eh, you know, is it really worth it? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But it's a fun, it's a fun different uh, kind of a thing. Okay, let's go ahead and just use one. Now you'll notice uh, when you use your regens, you have to be almost dead in order to get the maximum effectiveness out of them. So that's why we haven't been healing too much. Because if you use one, you're, you're definitely limiting uh, how much health you get back. And remember, we get about 25, 2400 health back on, a, an, on one regen. So we definitely, uh, let's get some venom on this guy. Good, now he's poisoned. See, now here he's taking 400. Yeah, about 400. So I think bosses take, um, I think they get a much longer um, duration of poison. I think their their uh, duration of poison is, is different um, than regular enemies. We missed him. Let's go ahead and back up here. Okay, now he's out of poison. Let's get some poison up on him. Get get our I-Core back. Maybe we'll get him slow here before the fight's over. Okay. So this is um, my version of playing a poison. We can switch weapons here to a slow weapon. So we'll be slowed now. Okay, and there goes Eo to kill him off. So that's a little bit about poison, a little bit about regeneration, a little bit about combining uh, poison and slow. Um, so it looks like he took uh, 400 health damage, which is not 5% of his health. Um, so I think, uh, let's see, four hundred. it was about 400 divided by 0. 0.005, so 80,000, that sounds about uh, the right amount of, uh, that sounds about the right amount of health that he would have at this stage of the game, uh, about 80,000 HP, um, so he takes about 5%, so it is a 5% on regular enemies, or, I mean, it, it varies from enemy to enemy, but it looks like bosses have a 10% uh, multiplicative, a 10% reduction modifier. 10 times, sorry, ugh, 10 times reduction modifier on poison. So with this guy, it would be something uh, beneficial to have a uh, dark gift that goes along with it. So you're recharging your I-Core. Again, something that's like f 4, 5, 6 I-Core. Uh, maybe, maybe even 10. So as you recharge that 10 I-Core, you hit him with another gift, and then... Uh, and then you can continue that. You hit him with another venomous shot or something and a couple of weapon attacks, get him poisoned, 
as those uh, time, as those seconds tick off, you're getting 0.6 I-Core core back every second. So you want to make sure that uh, uh, you give yourself ample time to dodge away. That's kind of why we're going with the with the Bardiche here or the Brionac. Um, so that way we can have quick dodges, and we also have the um, Assassin Sickle, uh, which is also yeah. a quick weapon. You'll see here uh, Assassin Sickle and the Brionic and the we're wearing the uh, Ivory Grace alleviated so that way we have uh, a really really low um, uh, weight class we could also go for um, the uh, what is it the Master Spines and if we alleviate it since it's also 12 uh, it would be the same weight as uh, the uh, Ivory Grace but it would also be something that would give us um, a great uh, mobility factor here as well. The only difference is, is that it doesn't have any light scaling, but that's okay because we're running dark. Excuse me. And it does have a little bit better defense uh, than the Ivory Grace, but it has a little bit worse dark scaling, a little bit worse drain rating, and a little bit better uh, damage on the backstabs. Uh, so we can run th that in the next section. I was, I was and we can see how that goes. For now, we have to uh, well, anyway. Just talk to these folks, and then we talk to Louis again, and then he's going to make us rest and sleep. Um, so, you know, the problem the problem with uh, blood draining, what is this blood draining venom, is uh, that the fact that uh, you have to make sure that your enemies take the full poison damage uh, over time uh, in order to make it uh, effective and worth its actual... 10 second or 20 second or 30 second cooldown or, or whatever length of time that enemies uh, take that venom damage so um, it's great to know that on a 10 second enemy you're going to get 6 I-Core back and so if you're using venomous shot and it debuffs an enemy to make him poisoned instantly then over that uh, 10 seconds you're going to get 6 I-Core back and if it's a 20 second like it looked like Oliver was like 20 seconds or maybe 30 seconds, uh, so you're you're getting about 12 or maybe even I 18 I core back, which is great. Whoops. Uh, so let's transform the master spine, and let's go for an alleviated, so we can see that in the next section here. And uh, just to see that here as a preview, so this is kind of what we would be looking at, and we're quick with both. Uh, both halberds. Now why would I pick uh, these two halberds with these two status effects? Well the slow it keeps the enemies from getting to us because they just kinda wander around a little bit and the venom obviously for blood draining venom and then also these are the two lightest um, uh, pole arms that we have so any other pole arm that we would pick is gonna put us over into the normal mobility category which uh, we definitely do not like uh, being um, you know, trying to get away quickly and having the enemy slowed uh, with also having, um, you know, uh, some ability to get in and out of battle. So uh, that's kind of how this is going to run. Uh, we're going to run pull arms for a while here. And uh, 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 we're going to buy i um, from her. And uh, so we'll, we'll pick up here um, next and uh, we'll pick up all these things here. And so, uh, when you see when you see uh, people running a, a venom build, you definitely don't want to be killing the enemy, which is, you know, completely contrary to, you know, how any of this would be going about, uh, because you don't want to be killing the enemy. Because if you kill the enemy, you're short uh, suiting yourself in a sense that you're not getting the full benefit out of the full duration of the um, top, of the dot that you've applied from the venom. Uh, now, regeneration shift can be swapped for, you know, something else. Uh, it doesn't have to be this one. I, I just wanted to talk about regeneration. You could go for swift destruction. There's nothing in the game that I've found so far that has to do that uh, can uh, increase your your dot damage uh, for the enemies. So the best thing to do would be pick up like swift destruction or something because the impact shot from venomous shot. You'll notice here that it's a dark pierce, uh, so that can be increased, but not the dot on the enemy so they always take five percent or in the boss's case you know they take half a percent um, so I haven't found anything yet that increases that damage over time effect um, going back to eel 
Um, if there is something, I would love to know about it because as of right now, like I said, there's just nothing there that uh, can increase that, uh, which is really unfortunate. Because if that would uh, if that would increase uh, the damage over time effect, uh, you could just get out of hand crazy because you would be damaging several enemies, getting them all poisoned. You'd be getting back 0.6 per enemy per second. So if you damage five enemies, you're getting uh, three I core back. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, three I core back every second. I mean, you could pair that with some really powerful, some really powerful skills. Um, if you have any materials from the old so world, here's the old world materials, uh, and so you could you could really uh, boost your effectiveness in battle. But the problem is, as soon as you start killing off your assailants, uh, you no longer have that I core coming in. Um, so that's a problem. So you could also switch this for uh, Rush of Blood, as um, you, that would really increase your I core stocks. However, it does uh, remember it does a 50% reduction on your uh, dark and light um, numbers here, but that doesn't really matter for us because we're going for that damage over time, and the more I-Core we have, the more often we can apply our debuffs. Davis said he wants some. Yes, he sure, he sure did. He, he's a, a good man. Uh, so this is kind of how uh, we're going to go through uh, for a while here because I want to I see the full effectiveness of how uh, Venom can be over time and what, what you can do with it and uh, why you would want to play a Venom strategy. It's a very, very, very hands-off kind of a strategy and kind of a, a blood code. Uh, it doesn't let you, it doesn't afford you the luxury to be in the battle too much. It affords you the luxury though to damage the enemy, kind of run away and sit for a second. And that's how we can kind of go through chatting about uh, poison and venom and slow and you know multipliers and passives and <laughs> all these things. And we kind of just walked through the first part of the game with heavy, heavy, heavy discussion, uh, just to, you know, and, and no real, you know, action, uh, that was going on, but, uh, yeah, so we'll, uh, we'll continue and pick up here, uh, in the, in episode 31, but, uh, we're going to be running, um, these two, uh, we're going to be running the assassin sickle as well because it has a cool charge slide and because that, uh, pairs really well with us getting away and also it will apply a slow effect and then we have a slowing shot so it'll uh, all pair together really nicely and well uh, for a, a pretty good uh, effective build um, and then we we have a couple of different options here that we can change out conviction spike maybe for uh, different gifts or uh, we can trade out usurper's blade for you know uh, a different active since we have an A in willpower we can Maybe get something different there. So uh, we'll be switching it up here along the way, but uh, we're going to stick with uh, Dark Seeker for a while here, uh, just to see the effectiveness and what it can do uh, when paired with different things. As I've never um, actively explored this one, uh, this will be a good uh, exploration for all of us. So thanks a lot for watching, and uh, we'll talk to you all in the next one.